everyone um welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing well a lot has happened this week like so much has been happening this week i have barely picked up the camera and i finally painted the bathroom <laughs> the bathroom is pretty much done it does need a second coat which i'm a bit gutted about because i don't usually need a second coat with valspar but it's such a dramatic color you can see so many more areas where it definitely needs a touch-up so luckily just like it's just one wall that really needs a second coat I didn't film me painting the bathroom because my bathroom is like a a standard uk house bathroom bath sink toilet <laughs> so it's really hard i tried setting the camera up in there and i was like unless i put you on the ceiling there's really no way to film me doing this um but yeah i showed you the intervals like step by step and after i first oh my gosh that first roll i didn't know if i'd made the biggest regret the biggest mistake um and then as soon as i completely finished the bathroom like every bit hated it i absolutely hated it and I, I i text him and i was like firstly don't worry we can paint over it he was like what have you done <laughs> i was like i've painted the bathroom and i hate it um it was so dark it was a world away from what i'm used to in that bathroom and it is a tiny tiny bathroom with a huge window so i knew that it would handle a dark color um and then that night i went to the loo <laughs> i went to the loo and i walked in and i was like oh this looks like a hope i don't know if you can even hear me over this rain it is crazy pouring today um yeah it felt like a hotel bathroom it felt very luxe very very luxurious and i was immediately like i i made the right decision i made the right decision to initially hate it and then absolutely love it so that's also what happened this week. I had a wood delivery, so I wanna be able to make my console table stroke radiator cover. Um, so I, all my wood got delivered. Um, and I've booked in lots of things to be done. So the floors, you'll know our kitchen floors got destroyed. We had no floors fitted. They didn't do a very good job in the kitchen. So they're coming tomorrow. Um, so that's finally gonna be fixed then um i noticed that we've got a double plug socket that's not working now uk electrics are quite different to electrics around the world and i'm not playing <laughs> i'm not playing when it comes to electrics in my home um i just feel like i could change a plug socket like it's not that hard i know that the wires there's like two or three wires it shows you exactly where they've got to go i could follow a youtube tutorial but do I want to do that? Not really, not really. I want my plug to still work at the end of it. Um, so I've got an electrician coming next week to fix the double plug socket. And that same guy, the electrician, is also going to fix my kitchen lights. So my kitchen lights are these huge, you would have seen them on my channel, these huge IKEA stainless steel bulbs, like semicircular bulbs. Um, and they've never really been good at being attached to the ceiling they keep falling off the ceiling but still wired 
Um, and so yeah, I've, I've got someone, the same guy is gonna finally fix them properly to the ceiling. Just the little jobs. I, I've been writing down all the little jobs, like all oh, that needs doing, that needs doing, that needs doing. Um, so I've booked them all in for next week. So I feel like it's gonna be a really productive week when it comes to getting little things done in the house. Today, okay, here's the thing. Today, well, yesterday was hot, beautiful, sunny. I was wearing a t-shirt all day. I was in the garden, I was weeding. I was so proud of me. It was beautiful. Um, today, it's Armageddon out here. But yesterday I realized there's a couple of things I don't have. I don't have gardening gloves. It was a beautiful sunny day and I went to grab a weed and it wasn't a thistle, so I was confident. I went to grab a weed and something caught me and I screamed the neighborhood down. <laughs> My neighbor was like, you're all right. I was like, yeah, I just hurt myself. So I figured that today I would come to the garden center and pick up some bits that I need. I want some more shingle to fill the um, planter bed. I've laid down some weed membrane, some cardboard, some weed membrane, and then some shingle I had left over, but I haven't got enough. So I need to get some more shingle and also some gardening gloves. And a hoe. I really desperately need a hoe or a tool that can get in the cracks of my patio to get those weeds out. Um, and yeah, this morning I woke up and I was like, right, I'm going to go garden centre. Opens at 10 o'clock. Let me just go. And then I thought, I also need another couple of paint trays. I might as well go to B&Q. B&Q has it all. So they have the decorating, the home decor and the garden centre section. Hopefully fingers crossed I'll be able to get it all here and it will probably be cheaper than the garden center also um B&Q opens at 10 and it's now three minutes past 10 so yay for me I've been in the car park for quite a while um if I've got the energy after B&Q I don't know if this kind of weather gives me energy if I'm honest if I've got the energy after B&Q we're gonna go to Ikea um because I do want to pick up a couple of mirrors from ikea i want a mirror for the bathroom and i want a mirror for the hallway uh, above my radiator the mirror i had there before bust it's like a really old super heavy wooden mirror that i painted white and the, the bottom of the mirror kind of cracked on the side i went to take it off the wall to paint the wall and it cracked and i was like result i didn't really like you anyway so yeah we'll see we'll see we'll see but first things first I feel like I'm raising my voice because it's raining so hard. Um, we're going to go to B&Q and get the essentials. Ikea can just be another day. So if I get the energy today, we'll go to Ikea. If not, I'll bring you with me when we go to Ikea. Every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two.
fun I do love a good old browse even if I know I'm not gonna get much um, I didn't get a broom I really wanted a garden broom our garden broom broke so on my list was shingle for the flower bed that can't grow flowers um, shingle for the flower bed gloves and 100% needed a broom and a hoe um, didn't get a hoe didn't get a broom the brooms just feel like thin plastic the reason we need a broom is because the broom I've had for about 17 years just snapped yesterday. It broke. Now, could I get just a new broom handle and attach it to the actual broom head? I could, but the broom head is disintegrated beyond all recognition. <laughs> it, it barely resembles a broom anymore. Initially, I was like, oh man, I'm going to have to buy a new broom handle. But the broom head itself... It would have been a nice quality broom um, and I've had it since then and it's it's gone it's dead like the bristles are broken everything's broken on it it wasn't a synthetic broom it was a nice one so wow Claire went deep on the brooms I'm gonna go home I had a change of plans and I've driven towards home I've driven towards home and I kind of sat in the car and I thought you've made the effort to actually wash your hair today get out go and get the things you need and you're coming home without two of the most important things on your list so I've brought you with me to the garden center I spoke on here on my channel about six months ago around six months ago can't even remember now um can't remember last week <laughs> um about starting HRT and having all of the perimenopausal symptoms and uh, you guys know that I had my operation back in June if you've been with me since since then you'll know I had my operation back in June I spoke about it briefly did I did I even speak about it um I had a womb ablation back in June to stop my periods wow um I am going to do a video on that that is going to come out soon um but I didn't want it to be a Sunday video because not everyone is tuning in on a Sunday afternoon to my channel to find out about my periods um so that is a very very niche topic and I'm going to put it out as a separate video um but yeah so basically i started um hrt a good five six months ago um and i haven't really spoken about it since and the truth is i stopped it after around i want to say five weeks six weeks um so the full benefit of hrt kicks in around that's what they say in and around two and a half two months after you start taking it now i was given the everall conti patch um, I got my prescription to get it like so it costs me 20 pounds a year for HRT um, and I was so happy I was so optimistic and at that time I felt like I was in a good place mentally and emotionally um, and I started the HRT fully thinking this was going to help me and the more time has gone on realizing that actually HRT doesn't necessarily help you when you're perimenopausal it can help when menopause hits when your periods stop you know um anyway after about four or five weeks i i got very very low um very very low very quickly which was unlike me um i definitely have moods lord knows i've spent my entire life pms in every month and getting very very low to which i think was a pmdd level um i never got diagnosed with pmdd i've spoken about this before in a video as well or have I <laughs> or have I anyway the reason I'm bringing it up now is because today 
is one of those days that I am feeling anxious. I Anxiety is definitely a new, anxiety impacting my daily life is a new feeling for me. And it's mainly been over the last two years that I've been experiencing it. Today is one of those days where I got up, I knew what I wanted to do. I had to get out, go to B&Q or the garden centre, get these things on my list and then come home. Um, but I struggled today, very much so. As soon as I got in the car, um, the rain was heavy, the driving was hard. I got to B&Q, I pulled up and I just felt like I wanted to be at home. I wanted to be at home. I didn't want to be there. I, I, and it wasn't, it wasn't that I'm like, ooh, let me think of something to film for content. I genuinely needed to go to B and Q and get shingle and a and a new broom, woohoo for content. Um, but I didn't want to be there. I, I just felt very, like, heart palpitationy. I wanted to be at home. The thought of that at that point, the thought of going to IKEA once I'd done B and Q, the thought of going to IKEA was too much for me. It was too much for me. Um, and I, I know I don't talk about this a lot here, but I'm not like this every day. Today is definitely one of those days where I just wanted to be back at home. I wanted to be back in my own home, in the safety and security of my own home. And I'm not out here on any mean streets. <laughs> These streets ain't mean. I, it was It was this like overwhelming, <sighs> I don't want to be out today. That is how I'm feeling today. So even though this is not every day that I'm experiencing this, um, I came off the HRT. I feel like I'm jumping around now, but I came off the HRT because again, I haven't even updated anyone on this. Um, I came off the HRT because I plum my mood plummeted to a level I was not happy with. Um, so I spoke to my doctor immediately and I just said, I'm not okay. Um, again, I don't know if it's the HRT. It, it could just be me. It could just be my body saying you're getting low now or whatever. Psychologically, I thought it was the HRT because it coincided with me starting the HRT. So I did take the patch off after the, I think it was fifth week. In the fifth week, I took the patch off. And immediately, within... I want to say within five or six days of taking the patch off, I felt like I was back to where I was before I started the HRT. I was back being semi-happy. <laughs> but again, because I'm, I don't know if psychologically I was just in a place of, I can't believe I'm 46. Well, I can, because I am. I can't believe I'm 46. I am falling apart. I felt physically and emotionally and mentally like I was falling apart so I don't know if starting the HRT was a massive was a lot bigger a deal than I was giving it and I was like wow I'm 46 if it was a psychological response to the fact that I'm 46 and there are so many changes happening physically to my body but anyway regardless I took the patch off and I have felt better since um but the anxiety is kind of coming back. The last couple of months, whenever I'm like going out in the car, I'm getting more and more anxiety around driving. Um, and I'm not used to that. I'm not used to that. Don't get me wrong. I've never, ever, I have never been a road trip driver. I've never been. If someone said to me, oh my God, let's go on a road trip to Scotland, you drive. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, I will drive within a 20 mile radius of my house. I will drive on roads that I know. I would never, like, you would never catch me in central London. Not in, you would have to pay me a million pounds to drive in central London. Um, I follow um, a young lady on here called Lauren, I live it like Lauren. I've only just recently discovered her channel. Um, she drives through central London all the time and I'm, I'm watching like, oh my God, I could never, I could never. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just feeling anxious today. Really quite on edge anxious. If anyone else can relate to this, please let me know. It's just I'm not feeling myself. And part of me was like, just go home, chill, have a cup of tea. But part of me feels like I'm now back in my safe zone. So for me to get home, I have to pass this garden centre. And I thought, actually I only now live one road away so I could actually quite happily park go into the garden center 
chill maybe get some a cup of tea go to the toilet because <laughs> you know um and see if they've got my broom and my hoe and I, that would make me happy it would make me happy knowing that i left the house and i came back with everything i needed um and this area that i'm in now i'm not stressed the garden center is like a very chilled sunday afternoon very zen very relaxing place i'm nowhere near the main shopping center that is lakeside the hustle the bustle the being queued the crowds the people the traffic i'm in a i'm in a nice place now and i know that when i leave here i've only got one road to drive down and i'm home so yeah that's what i decided to do but i did feel like i don't necessarily want to overshare everything that's happening with me medically um but i did feel like i did need to bring up the hrt i had a message recently asking me how the everall conti was going and i felt so bad because i was like ah oh, crap i actually stopped that um, five weeks after i started it and i haven't mentioned it since um so yeah i spoke to the doctor and basically that's the situation we're gonna see how i get on and if symptoms do return or get worse we'll 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 see what happens with that but um, yeah, the video on my actual womb ablation, not the actual womb ablation, but the video on the process of what happened with me and getting a womb, ending up having a womb ablation, um, that video is going to come out soon. But in the meantime, I've been chatting for like 10 minutes and I still don't think I even made sense in anything I said. Point is, I wanted to go home. I didn't. I came to the garden centre instead, a much quieter place to get my broom. Oh my child, I know You're hurt and you can't let go It's not your fault and you don't deserve All the bad and the hurt Ooh, I know you tried so hard I know you've done your part It's not fair You did your time How much longer will you suffer in this life? But don't give up Just hold on tight It'll be alright Good man inside did everything that you thought you should. Didn't seem to do you any good.
do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight shade plant a plant that can live in shade very very damp boggy conditions in the soil and shade never at any point does the area get direct sun and they don't seem to have anything they've got like partial shade plants but they don't have full shade plants um, I think last year we planted some that they recommended but they didn't they didn't live they didn't survive um, so yeah it's just really really hard to find plants I want ferns so I, I was googling and apparently ferns are quite robust and can survive in damp dark conditions but there doesn't appear to be any ferns here either um, I think I will try and see if I can find someone to help me but um, right now it's not looking good it looks like my little bed might just be um, shingle, <laughs> shingle. I love this place. I love this garden center. Makes me feel calm. <laughs> right i am back in the car feeling a lot better um just <laughs> i feel a lot more zen a lot better i needed that i didn't want to just go straight home and be frustrated with the fact that i didn't feel good enough to be out um but coming here, it was so quiet in there. It's always, not always quiet. It can be really, really busy on a sunny, hot bank holiday weekend. But it was so lovely in there. So zen. I just love it in there. It definitely calmed me down. 
and helped me. Um, I am just about to go home though and put the kettle on. The broom situation is a weird one. I picked up the broom head. Don't, I think I filmed it on here. That was what I was looking for, that natural bristle broom. Um, the broom head, I was like, banging, perfect. It looks almost identical to the one that's just broke. Um, but there's no handles. <laughs> um, it doesn't match any other handles. They've, they've only got plastic handles in there. And I wanted the big, thick wooden handle for the big, thick wooden broom. Um, and they don't have the handles to match the head. So frustrating, but it's all good. It's a first world problem. Um, I did get from the garden center that I went in for a broom. I got lemon drizzle cake. <laughs> lemon drizzle cake, the same size as my head. Um, so not all is lost in the world. And this makes everything worth it. Um, and this is an amazing lemon drizzle cake. Like, I've bought this before from the garden centre. And this is the kind of cake that I would drive specifically for the garden to the garden centre to buy. This was £5.40. But it is heavy. It's so heavy. You know when you know this is going to be a dense, juicy cake. Um, so, yeah. I got that. Um, but I did get other things in B&Q. But imagine walking around. Oh, my God, look. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Let me hold it up to the camera. Can you see that? There's big dollops of, like, lemon curd in there. Anyway. Yeah, imagine walking around a garden centre just feeling so calm. And it did the trick. It definitely brought me down. Made me feel happy again. Um... I say happy, like define happiness. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it made me feel less anxious, less... All of it. Um, and then just walking out <laughs> to the checkout with just a cake. Like, you just came to the garden centre and you're going home with a cake. Yeah, yeah, I am. Um, anyway, that is enough. It is now uh, quarter to 12, which is not bad. Not bad at all. So, hour and 45 minutes I've been out and yeah i'm okay i feel i feel happy at least that i've got a couple of bits off my list gardening gloves primarily being one of them because yeah i can't be screaming down the neighborhood next time i get caught by a thistle that i didn't know was there uh, so